medical scientists conduct research aimed at improving overall human health. They often use clinical trials and other investigative methods to reach their findings. Are you interested to get to know more about how to become a medical scientist? Following is everything you need to know about a career as a medical scientist with lots of details. So, let's go to the video and have the full guidance of being a medical scientist. Medical scientists typically do the following. Design and conduct studies that investigate both human diseases and methods to prevent and treat them. Prepare and analyze medical samples and data to investigate causes and treatment of toxicity, pathogens, or chronic diseases. Standardize drug potency, doses, and methods to allow for the mass manufacturing and distribution of drugs and medicinal compounds. Create and test medical devices. Develop programs that improve health outcomes in partnership with health departments, industry personnel, and physicians. Write research grant proposals and apply for funding from government agencies and private funding sources. Follow procedures to avoid contamination and maintain safety. Many medical scientists form hypotheses and develop experiments with little supervision. They often lead teams of technicians and, sometimes, students, who perform support tasks. For example, a medical scientist working in a university laboratory may have undergraduate assistants take measurements and make observations for the scientist's research. Medical scientists study the causes of diseases and other health problems. For example, a medical scientist who does cancer research might put together a combination of drugs that could slow cancer's progress. A clinical trial may be done to test the drugs. A medical scientist may work with licensed physicians to test the new combination on patients who are willing to participate in the study. In a clinical trial, patients agree to help determine if a particular drug, a combination of drugs, or some other medical intervention works. Without knowing which group they are in, patients in a drug-related clinical trial receive either the trial drug or a placebo, a pill or injection that looks like the trial drug, but does not actually contain the drug. Medical scientists analyze the data from all of the patients in the clinical trial to see how the trial drug performed. They compare the results with those obtained from the control group that took the placebo, and they analyze the attributes of the participants. After they complete their analysis, medical scientists may write about and publish their findings. Medical scientists do research both to develop new treatments and to try to prevent health problems. For example, they may study the link between smoking and lung cancer or between diet and diabetes. Medical scientists who work in private industry usually have to research the topics that benefit their company the most, rather than investigate their own interests. Although they may not have the pressure of writing grant proposals to get money for their research, they may have to explain their research plans to non-scientist managers or executives. Medical scientists usually specialize in an area of research within the broad area of understanding and improving human health. Medical scientists may engage in basic and translational research that seeks to improve the understanding of or strategies for improving health. They may also choose to engage in clinical research that studies specific experimental treatments Students planning careers as medical scientists generally pursue a bachelor's degree in biology, chemistry, or a related field. Undergraduate students benefit from taking a broad range of classes, including life sciences, physical sciences, and math. Students also typically take courses that develop communication and writing skills because they must learn to write grants effectively and publish their research findings. After students have completed their undergraduate studies, they typically enter PhD programs. Dual degree programs are available that pair a PhD with a range of specialized medical degrees. A few degree programs that are commonly paired with PhD studies are medical doctor, MD, doctor of dental surgery, 
DDS, Doctor of Dental Medicine, DMD, Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine, DO, and Advanced Nursing Degrees. Whereas PhD studies focus on research methods, such as project design and data interpretation, students in dual degree programs learn both the clinical skills needed to be a physician, and the research skills needed to be a scientist. Graduate programs emphasize both laboratory work and original research. These programs offer prospective medical scientists the opportunity to develop their experiments and, sometimes, to supervise undergraduates. PhD programs culminate in a dissertation that the candidate presents before a committee of professors. Students may specialize in a particular field, such as gerontology, neurology, or cancer. Those who go to medical school spend most of the first two years in labs and classrooms, taking courses such as anatomy, biochemistry, physiology, pharmacology, psychology, microbiology, pathology, medical ethics, and medical law. They also learn how to record medical histories, examine patients, and diagnose illnesses. They may be required to participate in residency programs, meeting the same requirements that physicians and surgeons have to fulfill. Medical scientists often continue their education with postdoctoral work. This provides additional and more independent lab experience, including experience in specific processes and techniques, such as gene splicing. Often, that experience is transferable to other research projects. Medical scientists primarily conduct research and typically do not need licenses or certifications. However, those who administer drugs or gene therapy or who otherwise practice medicine on patients in clinical trials or a private practice need a license to practice as a physician. Medical scientists often begin their careers in temporary postdoctoral research positions or in medical residency. During their postdoctoral appointments, they work with experienced scientists as they continue to learn about their specialties or develop a broader understanding of related areas of research. Graduates of M. D. or D. O. programs may enter a residency program in their specialty of interest. A residency usually takes place in a hospital and varies in duration, generally lasting from three to seven years, depending on the specialty. Some fellowships exist that train medical practitioners in research skills. These may take place before or after residency. Postdoctoral positions frequently offer the opportunity to publish research findings. A solid record of published research is essential to getting a permanent college or university faculty position. Although it is not a requirement for entry, many medical scientists become interested in research after working as a physician or surgeon or in another medical profession, such as a dentist. The median annual wage for medical scientists is $91,510. The median wage is the wage at which half the workers in an occupation earned, more than that amount, and half earned less. The lowest 10% earned less than $50,240, and the highest 10% earned more than $164,650. Employment of medical scientists is projected to grow 6% over the next 10 years, faster than the average for all occupations. A larger and aging population, increased rates of several chronic conditions, and a growing reliance on pharmaceuticals are all factors, that are expected to increase demand for medical scientists. In addition, frontiers in medical research are expected to require the services of medical scientists. Medical scientists will be needed for research related to treating diseases such as AIDS, Alzheimer's disease, and cancer. Research into treatment problems, such as resistance to antibiotics, also continue to provide opportunities for medical researchers. In addition, a higher population density and the increasing frequency of international travel may facilitate the spread of existing diseases and give rise to new ones. Medical scientists will continue to be needed because they contribute to the development of treatments and medicines that improve human health. The federal government is a major source of funding for medical research. Going forward, 
the level of federal funding will continue to affect competition for winning and renewing research grants. These are the main steps and the things you should be looking at, if you want to become a medical scientist. If you got this video helpful, please give a thumbs up to the video. Don't forget to share this with your friends. Subscribe the channel for more important videos like this. Thanks for watching.